Hello. Today, we are going to explain to you a final year project titled Learn Sketch. The team consists of Mr. Saish Pawar, Mr. Carson Rodriguez, Ms. Ritika Ghanti, Mr. Siddhan Desai, and Mr. Nihal Kamath. Under the guidance of our project guide, Professor Amai Kerkar, our co guide, Mr. Norman Dias, and our reviewer, Mrs. Shweta Morajkar. Previously, young children progressed from scribbling using pencils and crayons on paper. But today's technology allows us to engage with art through smartphones and drawing applications. Our application offers a variety of tools and features to enhance artistic capabilities and improve the overall quality of artwork. By detecting and highlighting mistakes, our app aims to help users identify areas for improvement and progress in their sketching journey. The technologies used are OpenCV, Python, Image Processing, Kotlin and Java, and Firebase. Once you open the application, you will see the screen where you have two options. That is sign up if you are not already registered. And if you are already registered, you can directly log in. Once you successfully logged in, you will see two main sections, that is Get Started and Your Saved Sketches. In the Get Started section, you have three subsections. The first being Learn Sketching. Here, you have various modules in which you will learn to sketch different things. The first one being Sketch a Cake. So here, the whole cake is broken down into stages. So the stage one is this, and if you Press the replay button, you'll be able to view it again. And if you've done with this, you're done watching the stage one, you can press the next step. It will take you to stage two. And continuously, if you keep pressing the next step, you'll go to the next stages. Once you're done viewing all the stages, you can start sketching by pressing the button. So this is the canvas which has various options such as you can press the brush and change the size of it by scrolling. Then you have the next button that is the erase button. So here you can use it also to change different sizes with the same scroll. Then is the color palette. Here you can Choose the color of your choice. Then the next button is the clear button, which completely clears the canvas. You have the option of selecting your grid, such as the 4x4 or the 3x3 size. And now you can start sketching. Once you're done sketching, you can press the analyze sketch. You will be shown the SSI score and on the left, the error regions are displayed. Once you're done with all, you can save the sketch and proceed. Here, you have to give the name of the sketch. You can either share, you can share these sketches to different social media sites. Or you can save it to your phone. You can resume sketching or just go back to your home. Once you're done saving it, you will be shown to the dashboard again. So the next subsection is Analyze Sketch. Here you're given two options to choose your reference image. The first being Upload Using Camera. So using the camera of, an, of the emulator, we can click the image. We can crop it according to your choice and proceed. Or either the second option is upload from gallery. So once you're done selecting a reference image, you can proceed to sketch. So we use the same canvas, but a few additional options such as the preview button, which shows you the reference image that we've selected. You can also apply the grid here which will also apply to the reference image for ease of sketching. 
to not, you start sketching. Once you're done sketching, it will show you the error region. It will show you the stroke that has to be done versus the stroke that you've sketched. So the SSM score is also displayed here. And once you're done with the whole sketch, you can save it and proceed. So here we have an option of error detection. So either you can toggle it on or toggle it off. If you toggle it off, this is basically a free drawing. You can keep drawing without any error detections. So once you're done drawing, it will again check the last grid you have drawn and find your errors. So once you're done, you have to again save your sketch by putting a name and then saving it to phone and proceed. So the third subsection is sketching. So once you're confident enough and you do not need the assistance of error detection, you can use this subsection. So basically this is like free drawing. You can again use the same grids that is three by three or four by four and start with your sketching. Here, there is no error detection or preview option. Once you're done, again, you have to save and proceed. So the next section is this your saved sketches. So these are all the sketches that you have previously done and saved. So in case you want to continue with one of your last saved sketch, you can just click on it. So here you can press the preview button, which will show the reference image you had selected previously. The last button is the logout button. So once you're done with all your sketching, you can just press that and be out of the account. Thank you.